Hello everyone and welcome, this is Common and Cam. Today we have the trailer finally for Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom. We've got a lot to talk about within this trailer. I actually feel like this trailer is much better than any previous trailers we've gotten like for Siege and Earthrise. Something about this trailer actually got me excited for this series. There's a lot of things to talk about, there's a lot of details, but I just want to talk about the picture of this um, series so far. I don't know, maybe it's just the Kingdom Saturn being on Earth, but everything seems to pop out a lot more. The characters, the vibrant contrasts and everything. I don't know, something just about it sticks out to me a lot more. And I think the animation actually looks a little bit better. Um, let's just start off with the trailer breakdown. In the beginning we got Optimus Prime by himself, kind of sort of just in space or something. Maybe he's inside the Matrix or whatever. Um, but we have a leader one coming to Optimus Prime's comfort. We've got the Nemesis flying down to Earth and we just see the Nemesis there in this image and then the Ark is nowhere to be seen in source. So maybe they are in different areas of the world. Um, who knows? But we see the Nemesis crash land first and we've got the Autobots in the Ark just kind of like inside the volcano where they obviously have crashed. Now we've got various Autobots scattered in this image here, but this is where I'm talking about with the colours popping out. We have the Decepticons and they seem to have crash landed near the jungle. And we have Megatron, Soundwave, Astro Train, Starscream and several others at the back. Uh, with Megatron with the Matrix wrapped around his chest, obviously from the previous season um, that he's got. So he just kind of wants to put it on display now, just kind of showing off his new jewellery. And we've got a few other shots of Megatron holding the Matrix. Again, the colours popping out really nice. When it comes to Megatron and the Matrix, there'll be obviously a lot to explore, hopefully, um, within the first few episodes on how is Megatron dealing with holding the Matrix. And we get our first Beast character revealed, obviously being Air Razor flying around the Decepticon Nemesis. He'll obviously be watching the Decepticons as they go around the jungle. And we know from a previous short teaser trailer that Air Razor will be firing off Laser Beak at some point, which this trailer also shows off again. As the Decepticons are looking for the intruders, obviously something must have uh, happened around the Nemesis security systems and all. So Megatron and Decepticons go out to investigate. But what they end up finding is actually Megatron from Beast Wars. We got him approaching in his T-Rex form. A good reveal, to be honest. This is actually done really well, well paced and edited in the trailer. And we do actually see Beast Wars Megatron transform. We see him in a few shots right here. And we got him versing off, it looks like, the refractors. Um, but we have RC on the ground just there. RC seems to have just had a close encounter with Megatron. The Decepticons are firing on him, so he turns around and looks straight at them. But there is a point in this series where Megatron and Beast Wars Megatron will meet. Beast Wars Megatron shows WFC Megatron the Golden Disc. Saying that just sounds a lot less confusing. Now, the Golden Disc was a big thing within the original Beast Wars cartoon, but the official name for this is the Voyager Golden Disc, and it holds the power to basically change the universe forever. It's a big weapon. As we witness in Earthrise Episode 5, Galvatron made one last attempt to change the past by giving Megatron the Golden Disc, but obviously Galvatron disappeared before he did. In this shot here, we have more of Optimus Prime and Ultra Magnus in a weird cube space or something. Not quite sure what is going off here, maybe Ultra Magnus is in Optimus Prime's conscious, maybe Optimus Prime has to face against his own conscious at some point, which would kind of explain why he's just kind of stranded in the beginning of the trailer and he needs someone like Alita One to help him out or something. But at some point during the series, the Maximals do enter the Autobots arc and we have Optimus Prime all here facing off with Optimus Prime. This will definitely be a good scene, I think. And other Maximals join into the mix as well as they come across the other Autobots. Um, so it seems like they'll be meeting the Autobots in their own sort of unique way. Optimus Prime with Optimus Prime, Cheetor and Tigertron with the rest of the Autobots. And this should definitely be an interesting fight. I just can't wait to see how, what the fighting styles will be like, you know, given the full on scene of Optimus Prime or this. Optimus Prime, this is the first time we'll be getting this in a series. And we have a few small shots that just kind of flash at you, or once you've got to kind of pause it to really make out what is happening. We have a shot here of Air Racer taking on two Scorpionocs, and um, so it seems. And Air Racer is protecting Bacarachnia from, uh, it looks like we're on board the Nemesis ship, so maybe they are setting it to self destruct. Who knows? We also have a shot of Dinobot looking really cool. I like the way how he looks there, especially with the Saturn itself. Yeah, that's just something I just want to compliment on this series so far. I don't know if this trailer really did a good job of showing how the animation's sort of better than before. 
how it's more fluent, more softer, you know, and the animation's not just kind of like bricks, you know what I mean? But the color of it as well looks really, really nice. The characters actually pop out, and you can actually tell what's going off. Um, but we do get that shot of Optimus Primal ripping Thundercracker in half. I don't know why some people are saying it's Skywarp, and I'm like, it's so clearly not Skywarp, it's obviously Thundercracker. I don't know. Um, maybe some people are colorblind to that, but that is clearly Thundercracker. Uh, but then we have Starscream actually knocking off Megatron. So that's what that shot was about in the last teaser we got. Yeah, Starscream just full on, yeah, knocks Megatron off this time. But Megatron is caught by the Autobot arc, which we have a bit of a glimpse of. Um, not completely, but the arc, as we know, will be in this series. It will be transforming, um, especially. But as we know, the arc can transform. That was kind of spoiled to us by the toy. Um, you've probably seen reviews of it online already. But yeah, the arc will be transforming. And I imagine this will be towards the climax of the series, considering why Starscream is stabbing Megatron in the back so suddenly. Um, but finally, the, the trailer is not stopping there with the reveal of the arc. We are also having Galvatron with Nemesis Prime this time. And it looks like this is in a blizzard of sorts and you've just got Nemesis Prime knocking off Tigertron and kicking Rat Trap and um, which I thought was funny but if you briefly look there you can see Rhinox as well um, in the corner there um, but we have Nemesis Prime taking on Optimus Prime so Optimus Prime is not just first in one Prime or Prime on this series he'll be first in on two different kind of looks of himself there's Optimus Prime, can't seem to catch a break really. Um, so yeah, I assumed that was some sort of a dream sequence with him taking on Nemesis, but that's definitely not going to be the case. And we will actually have Galvatron and Nemesis, at least in the flesh, and we'll be taking on the Autobots and Maximals. So that's all we have so far for the Transformers Wolf Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom. And this will be coming out at the end of July on the 29th. Let me know what you think to this trailer. I definitely think this trailer was a lot better than other trailers. This actually got me kind of excited. And Kingdom's one of the more interesting lines. And not only storyline, but also toy line as well. Like the toys have been doing really superb, really, really good. So this is the first time we're having these characters meet each other properly. Let's just kind of forget the Prime War strategy and all that kind of stuff. I don't think that did it justice. Uh, but at least we'll have it this time. You know, the Beast Wars cartoon is very much beloved, so having these characters back, especially in a series then, I mean, it's only six episodes, but hopefully there's enough time to kind of justify why they're there and why the Autobots and Decepticons are meeting them. You know, Hasbro gearing up the Beast Wars characters to get obviously ready for the Transformers Rise of the Beast movies. So if newcomers, you know, see this series the first time and don't know about Beast Wars, I just hope that this kind of pulls them in, in that kind of concept, and I hope they kind of do it properly you know even if it's a different spin on the original beast wars law the beast wars characters i don't know they kind of have to be a bit more delicate because you can't you know you, we've not had a dozen beast wars already we've only had one certain beast wars and um, so who knows maybe this will do it different and maybe it will pull more people in you know obviously i've said my criticisms of this series and show over the last few seasons uh, as of recently as well you know but hey who knows maybe this could be a definite improvement over the last few Anyway guys, that's all I've got to say for now. Be sure to subscribe, click that notification bell to get all updates instantly. Till the next video, this has been Common and Cam, and goodbye.